Hi everyone. So in this video, we'll be looking at how to rationalize complex numbers. So like we did in the previous video, complex numbers are simply numbers which are made up of two parts, an imaginary part as well as uh, a real part. So rationalizing a complex number is uh, just one way of dividing complex numbers. This is also similar when you look at uh, uh, sads or radicals. So what we'll be doing is uh, just uh, mainly dividing complex numbers and in the process of dividing we have to rationalize and then we see what follows so uh, there's a, a, a link in the description that uh, shows you the introduction part that we did on the same topic okay so to rationalize uh, we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator Sometimes they might specify to say rationalize the numerator, meaning that you multiply both the denominator and the numerator by the numerator. But if they just say rationalize, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply with the numerator is sorry, it's supposed to be i, not factorial, so i like that, as well as five i like that. I don't know why I was using factorials. Okay, so all these are i's to represent imaginary numbers. So um since we are factor, we are rationalizing, uh, we are multiplying the numerator with the denominator, the denominator with the denominator again, same thing. So what we have here is, uh, we have 7 uh, plus 2i in brackets, multiplying with 5i, divided by uh, 5 times 5, of course that's 25, i times i, which is i squared, will give us a negative 1. Well, this is what we did in the previous video. Okay, so five, 7 times 5i, uh, this will give us 35i. Then 2i times 5i, uh, this will give us 10. And i times i, which is i squared, will give us negative 1. Okay, so what we established in the previous uh, uh, session, we said that i squared gives us negative 1. Meaning that what we have here is um, 35i plus 10 the negative 1 there because i squared is negative 1 divided by 25 negative 1 like that okay so then this will simply give us negative 10 if we start with the root part plus 35i divided by negative 25 like that then we just have to split the two so that we get uh, negative 10 over 25 uh, minus 35 over 25i. Then it's just a matter of reducing it. So 5 can go into 10, that is a negative 2 over 5. If we divide both, uh, both uh, the numerator and denominator by 5, again, we can reduce with a 5 where we say 7 over 5i. So we have the real part as well as the imaginary part. Okay, so it's the same concept that we use here multiply both numerator and denominator by the denominator which is 2i of which we get uh, negative 8i times uh, 2i we get negative 16i squared plus 3 times 2i is simply 6i divided by 4i squared so uh, negative uh, sorry i squared is negative 1 so we have negative 16 negative 1 plus 6i divided by negative 4 and this will give us 16 plus 6i divided by negative 4 then from here we can just split the two so that we get uh, 16 over so negative 16 over 4 plus or minus rather 6i over 4 we can reduce by dividing with a common uh, multiple. So 4 can go into 16 4 times, so negative 4 minus, we have 3 over 2i. So here we have it. Let's look at this, uh, this other one. So we multiply again same thing with 3i. We multiply with 3i. So what we get is 6 times 3i is simply 18i. Negative i times uh, 3i will get a positive 3 because when that i and i will give us uh, i squared which is a negative so negative negative positive so i uh, 3 times 3 is a 9 negative uh, 
i squared will simply give us negative 1, meaning that this will reduce to 3 plus 18i over negative 9. This will reduce to uh, negative 1 over 3 minus 2i, like that. Okay, so let's look at another way in which we can uh, rationalize. Okay, so this one is an interesting one, because with this one, if you have been taught to rationalize, you have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. So what is a conjugate? If, for example, we have a complex number, z is equal to a plus i b, the conjugate of this is given by z bar, which is equal to a minus i b. Meaning that if you have a plus, all you do is you change it to a minus, and hence that's your conjugate. And it's usually abbreviated with uh, this bar. So if this is a complex number z, meaning that the conjugate is this. The conjugate for this denominator is simply 1 plus 4i. The conjugate of this is 1 minus. The conjugate of this is 6 plus, just like that. So you just change the sign in between. So we're going to multiply both numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, of which we're going to obtain... 1 plus 4i divided by 1 plus 4i. So here what we're going to have, we see that 1 multiplies with everything there, so that we get 1 plus 4i, like that. Then the whole thing is divided by, so let's change the color. The whole thing is divided by 1 times 1 is simply 1. 1 times 4i is a plus 4i. Negative 4i times 1 is negative 4i. Then negative 4i times 4i will get a positive 4. So why is it positive? We know that 4 and 4 will give us negative 16. But i and i will give us i squared. And i squared is a negative. So that negative will cancel with that other negative. So this will simply reduce to 1 plus 4i divided by, we see that these two cancel because one is positive, one is negative, and everything is over 5. So our final answer is simply 1 over 5 plus 4 over 5i. Okay, so now, having done that, we can now look at this one. So again, same thing, multiply both denominator and numerator by the conjugate, of which the conjugate in this case is 1 minus i, like that. So one thing you need to know is that once we look at what we have down here, it's just the same as the concept of difference of two squares, because one is positive and one is negative. Um, so let's multiply the numerator. So 2 times 1, we simply get a 2. 2 times i, we get a negative 2i. 3 times i, we get 3i. 3i times negative i, we get a positive 3, because i and i will give us a negative Okay, so we're going to apply the concept of, of difference of two squares, which will look like this, plus i, 1 minus i. We know that if this is a concept of difference of two squares, then what we'll have will be, so in the numerator, first of all, we can see that uh, uh, what we're going to have is 5 plus i, because 2 and 3 is 5, uh, negative 2 and 3 is just i, divided by the difference of two squares, which is 1 squared minus i squared difference of two squares. So we have 5 plus i divided by 1 plus 1 because i squared is negative 1. So negative 1 and a negative get 1. So this will simply reduce to 5 plus i divided by 2 of which this will just give us 5 over 2 plus 1 over 2 i. Okay so I hope you understand the concept of difference of two squares. So let's try to apply it on this other example. So multiply both uh, numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the denominator, which is this, 6 plus 2i. So numerator, 7 times uh, 6, that should give us 42. 7 times 2, that should give us 14i. Negative 2 times 6, that should give us negative 12i. Negative 2 and uh, positive 2 should give us a positive 4 because the i, i squared will give us a negative 1 to cancel that other negative. Okay. So if you don't understand this concept, um, 
make sure to watch uh, the previous video that we did on the introduction then you'll be able to understand why everything is just becoming a negative 4 okay so in the denominator we can have the difference of two squares of which the difference of two squares is just 6 squared minus 2i in brackets squared okay so 42 plus 4 will give us 46 plus 14 and 12 will give us a uh, 2i divided by 6 squared is 36 and uh, 2i squared will simply give us a positive 4 just like that why because the 2 squared of course is 4 i squared is negative 1 so negative 1 negative 1 we have a positive there of which this will reduce to 4 6 plus 2i divided by 40 then it can be reduced by multiplying with the 2 throughout i think so we'll have 23 plus i divided by 20 for which our final answer seems to be 23 over 20 pardon plus 1 over 20i like that so there we have it so let's look at uh, one more part that i wanted to show you okay so in this one we've been given uh, z1 z2 and z3 as a set as a set of complex numbers then the first question is um find z1 times z2 very easy so for question a those are my solutions Here's something smaller okay so for a what we have is z1 times z2 so what is our z1 we know that our z1 is 1 minus 2i is that one there what is our z2 our z2 is simply 4i so if we multiply these two 1 times 4i we simply get 4i 2i times 4i we're going to get a negative 8i brackets squared we know what i squared is negative 1 so what we're going to have is 4i plus 8 this is just 8 plus 4i straightforward so the i simply or rather the z simply presents a set of uh, complex number then you just uh, uh, evaluate it depending on how the question is phrased so now we have this uh, bar that we have here the bar like i said simply means uh, the conjugate a conjugate is where you just change the sign meaning that z3 bar so this is our z3 but our z3 bar is a conjugate meaning that what we should have is 5 plus i so instead of a minus we use the conjugate then so let's start from here where we say z bar z3 bar plus z1 of which z3 bar is 5 plus i plus what is our z1 our z1 is 1 minus 2i group like terms 5 times 1 is simply 6 i times uh, or rather i minus 2i is negative i that's it as simple as that then now we have this kind of a scenario where you have um, the two dividing so as long as complex numbers are dividing of course uh, what comes what should come to mind is the issue of um, rationalization so what is our z2 bar so we can see that our z2 first of all is just for i meaning that our z2 bar should be so we have z2 bar divided by z2 so our z2 bar is simply negative 4i and our z2 is 4i so this is just straightforward because this two will cancel just leaving us with a negative one okay so let's look at uh, this one d so i'll just do d then the rest will be yours to try out so for e uh you just have z1 plus z2 minus z3 bar take note of the bar the bar is a conjugate then for f you're simply dividing z2 over z1 so it's pretty much straightforward so let me just do d then you can try out the other two so according to d d is z3 bar divided by z2 
So this is something that we've done already in this video. When we're just uh, beginning. So what is Z3 bar? First of all, Z3 is, look at Z3, there's Z3, 5 minus i. So Z3 bar is 5 plus i divided by, what is Z2? So we can see that our Z2 is just 4i. So divided by 4i. And we've already done this. It's just straightforward from here, of which we know that we just multiply uh, both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator. No need of introducing the conjugate here, it's just straightforward. So times 4i divided by like that. So 5 times uh, 4i, we simply get 20i. i times 4i, we get a minus 4. We know that the i and the i will produce a negative 1. The whole thing is divided by 4 times 4 is 16. So we have 16 as a negative because i and i will produce a negative 1. So this can reduce to 4 over negative 16 plus 20i over negative 16. Then we simplify this further. We're going to have negative 1 over 4 minus... Uh, so 4 can go into 25 times and can go into 16 4 times i. So there we have it. So this is how we rationalize uh, complex numbers. So I urge you to try out uh, these two. It's pretty much straightforward. Otherwise, uh, I think that's it. So for those of you who were watching this video but didn't understand what was happening, I advise you to first uh, watch the previous video, which was the introductory part. Then this video will make, will make much more sense. So thank you very much.